Hey y'all, welcome to Block Mr. Day 3. Gotta hold the phone to be ready to turn. Today is Sunday, December the 3rd, and I woke up and I started doing some homework. That's due today, y'all. Last week, next week is the last um, week of class. I got two papers I gotta complete. And I've been sweeping the floors up because we. My husband and his friend are getting ready to do the floor, so right now they're just laying down the, what is the padding, and then they're going to put the floors on top of that. So yeah, that's what I, all I've been doing all weekend, basically working on the house like we do every weekend during the week, but we are almost done, so the goal is to be finished with the house by Christmas. The only thing that may not be finished by Christmas is the bathroom. What we're doing with our bathroom, it's um, it's a, a full bath and a half a half bath that leads to the master bedroom. Um, our house is built in the 60s, so it's kind of weird how the bathroom is. But what we're gonna do, the bathroom has like a huge landing closet. So we've been to the shelves out, so the only thing that we're gonna do is um, closing that wall, and we're gonna make a opening wall. shower so that linen closet is going to be converted into a walk-in shower so we're going to do that and then we're going to um, uh, place a wall where there's an opening between the half bath and the full bath we're just going to close that off that way that way we will have a completed full two baths so yeah but I cannot wait to share with you the reveal of the home um, it's day and night. When I tell y'all day and night, that's why like my when I was 21, I bought my first house. And it was in the subdivision, you know, cookie cutter house. But at the time, I was young and I, and I, I didn't have any kids, no husband. I was single. And I'm like, this is big for me. And after I got married, I had kids and stuff. Then the house started getting closed. And, and it, just, it wasn't what I really wanted. And then as far as like the, the, the size of the yard, it was so freaking small and they didn't put the amenities out there that they promised and I just couldn't take it no more. So with this home, this is me and my husband's first home that we brought together. It's, it's so much wiser to buy a home that's cheap but have a vision for it. So like with this home, um, it was like a steal. And as soon as it listed, we, we jumped on it. And this was on the Sunday. My realtor jumped on it. And I used my same realtor that I did with my first house. He's excellent. Um, if you're in, in the Jacksonville area, his name is Ike Scott. I'll leave his information below. Excellent realtor. Not pushy. He is excellent. But yeah. But this house was so old fashioned. The lady that owned the home passed away in March of this year, 2017. And her kids had the house on the market like the end of March. So, um, we jumped on it, but when I tell y'all old fashioned, old fashioned, smell old fashioned, but we had a vision, we saw the potential in the home, and that's what you gotta do when you're looking to buy a home, don't look for the, oh, well, you want everything to be brand new, nice, don't do that, because you can really walk away from, um, something that could be very lucrative in the future for you, as far as selling. This is in our dream home, but it's beautiful. I tell you, it, it's really nice the way we remodeled it. Um, and we paid the low 100s for this house. And the value, um, someone came out, they were saying that, you know, once everything is done, the home looked like it could be probably around $215,000. So that's a big amount that we're going to be receiving back. So that's why I say find a picture up and, and and redo it. I know y'all watch HGTV, so yeah. You can you can really make an old house look like one of these brand new houses. And plus now we have way more yard. Like it's it's under a little under an acre. It's like 0.89 or something. But it looks everybody comes and like, man, this gotta be more than an acre. And yeah, but our goal, like our next home was probably going to be like our dream home. 
and it could be a fixed upper. I'm, I'm not afraid of fixed uppers, but we want at least five acres because my husband is from the country, and I, I like the the um the country feel too. I like to not have nobody right up under my nose, you know. So I do enjoy the space and where the kids can play because I don't want them to be on the electronics all day. So mm -mm. this is so cute. This is at Walmart, and they come with the hat. A little pop ball 1488. I kind of want one of these, and oh, they got it in Wonder Woman. That is so cute. They may want to get all of them. What is this? Harry Potter and what is this? Harley, Harley Quinn. I thought that's my that thing my daughter be talking about on YouTube. I don't know. Yeah, those are nice though. Little Christmas leggings. I don't know. I just like regular black leggings and gray. I'm just plain like this, I guess. Now look at this three-piece pineapple tumbler in a copper finish. For twelve seventy six, they have the wine glasses and the shot mugs. <clears throat> I'm gonna open this. tree like this to go in my bedroom. Slender tree. I'm going to wait until after Christmas. Get it on sale. This is what I'm looking for. The battery powered lights for my two reefs. i get some of these. So y'all only see one of these in the indoor outdoor so I may not twenty five that's twenty five feet long. I don't need it that long. So I may get these. I gotta make sure it say indoor outdoor. I don't know, I don't like that kind. So I gotta find some more. Yeah, something like this, y'all. Is it indoor outdoor? I'm gonna check, but I think these are the ones. They five eighty eight. Why you look like that? So yeah. Well, I can't get those either. They're indoor use only, so I gotta keep looking. Dang.
some of that game. Available for selfies until 4 o'clock. Trying to find mascara. Might just get this one. Why does that up your straight fresh right now? I don't know. I guess I'm going to go ahead and try this one. I know they're a dollar at Dollar Tree, but I'm at Walmart already, and plus, I don't know. Mine from Dollar Tree be drying out so fast. So. All right, let's go. I'm gonna get some more lotion too. Let's see how much these lights cost. I can only find one, so I may just keep it to light my garland up on the fireplace. $6.98. So I guess that's not too bad for this many. Okay. Uh oh, look at Walmart. I don't care for tournaments, but these are cute. I like that green. And it's black. I mean, come on, Dollar Tree, Walmart. Come to Layaway, stand up. Please come to the Layaway area. Thank you. Stop. Pretty color. Everything want to fall right now. Cute shirt. All right. Why did I come over here? This is cute. What they? They under clearance. I'm gonna have to check the prices on these. These are cute. Can I see that? Oh, my hands so full. These are cute too. I love this color. Assistant Manager Tiffany, please dial me at 150. Assistant Manager Tiffany, dial me at 150. Thank you. Guys, so I'm gonna end the vlog right here at Kim's Flowers. It's like a little family tradition. We've been coming here since they were little, and I've been coming here since I was little.
We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Happy Holidays from Blue Flowers. Upside down Christmas tree. I see a deal. <laughs> Is this way, baby. If I go back this way, there's more. Let's see. The bear one. That's big. 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 That's